<laughs> okay, here we are. This is day, let's see, we started Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. This is day number three. We've just arrived to the Colomina Ref Refugio. Here I am with Marta Riba. She's the one of the women responsible for making sure that all of the Carros de Foc clients are happy. They have cold drinks, hot drinks, soup, good meal, good times. We have an amazing view behind us, but unfortunately you can't really see it because there's quite a bit of fog and clouds, but it's a wonderful day. Marta, hello. Hello. Que tal? Muy bien. Muy bien. So, Marta, what I would like to tell the people that are watching this video about Carros de Foc is a little bit about each particular refugio. Que hay... Bueno, nos puedes explicar un poco la historia de este refugio en concreto? Can you tell us a little bit about the history of this particular refugio? Bueno, esto es la cabecera de la Vall Fosca que tenemos aquí. Esto hacia abajo empieza la Vall Fosca. Y entonces aquí, en 1917, se empezaron los trabajos para represar los lagos. Wow, okay, so in 1917, there's all kinds of high mountain lakes here. By the way, if you come and do this circuit, you're going to be mesmerized by the lakes. But a lot of the lakes have been taken advantage of over the last, well, we can say 1917, 100 years for for creating hydroelectric, hydroelectric power. And we are in this current position at the top of the beautiful valle called the Valle Fosca, which means the dark valley yes. in Catalan. Yes. Okay, very good. Um, what is something that makes this particular um, installation different or interesting? ¿Cuál es una cosa que hace que este refugio sea distinto o diferente que los demás? Pues el hecho que eh, hicieran la represa de estos lagos, entonces el ingeniero Que, que dirigía las obras, edificó este, esta casa, era una casa, de hecho uh -huh. tiene una forma particular como una casa normal, no como un refugio, porque aquí vivía el ingeniero que dirigía las obras. Ok, so what's one thing that's quite interesting about this particular refugio is that it was originally built as a house to house the engineer and his workers when they were building the dams here in the high mountains. Fantastic. And now, hoy, hoy en día, ¿cuál, ¿cuál es vuestro claim to fame? ¿Qué es que la gente busca, viene aquí a buscar? Entiendo que se puede llegar fácilmente con un teleférico. Sí, tenemos las dos, de, los dos tipos de, de, de excursionistas. Los que hacen el rec, todo el recorrido, como habéis hecho vosotros. Okay. O los que vienen de la Valle Fosca y vienen a hacer una excursión de día y aprovechan este teleférico que de donde se aparca el coche recorre la mitad del recorrido para llegar aquí arriba. ¿Cuánto desnivel cogen 300, con el teleférico? 350 metros. ¿Y después para llegar aquí? Pues tienen una hora, hora y cuarto a pie. Ok, so one thing that makes this particular refugio quite interesting is that in addition to being part of the Carros de Foc um, circuit and program in the Aguas Tortes National Park, it also is one of the few refugios where people can arrive quite easily. There's a gondola or system which can take the people from the parking lot down in the Valle Fosca 350 meters um, upwards and then about an hour, hour and a half walk or hike from the gondola you can reach this this refugio, you could come up here for a hot drink or for a lunch. There's beautiful excursions. Today is not a sunny day, but I guarantee you, when it's a sunny day, this place is off the charts. Bueno, Marta, muchísimas gracias. Muchas gracias. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you. Y nos vemos en Colomina. See you in Colomina. Yes, ciao. Ciao. Adios. Adios. Bye bye.